Hello everyone and welcome back. Now in this review video, we'll take a look at LLK Boy GX55 Mini PC. It comes pre-installed with Windows 11 Pro, an extremely capable and power-efficient Intel Celeron quad-core processor clocked at 2 GHz with up to 2.9 GHz burst frequency. Now this mini PC is priced at around $250 and it's mainly intended for basic tasks like office suits, web browsing with moderate multitasking, but of course later in the video we'll be testing it with some games as well. So let's get straight to the unboxing. The GX55 mini PC arrives in this sleek looking white box. We have the brand logo at the front and both sides, and at the back we have a list of all the specs. In addition to the quad-core CPU, we have Intel Ultra HD integrated GPU clocked at 800 MHz. In terms of RAM, we have 8 gigs of DDR4 clocked at 2666 MHz and 256 GB NVMe M.2 SSD for storage. Now this storage can be expanded with additional 1 TB by installing a 2.5-inch SATA hard drive. So let's take a look at what's inside the box. First we have a high-speed HDMI cable, another shorter HDMI cable, a 24W power supply, a bracket to mount the mini PC to the back of your monitor or TV, a ribbon cable for the hard drive and some screws for the Visa mount. And there we have the GX55 mini PC itself and a simple user manual. Now the overall design is pretty simplistic, I really like this reflective glossy finish. So at the front from left to right we have the power button, two USB 3.0 ports, Type-C USB port, 3.5mm headphone jack with mic support and a switch to reset the BIOS. At the side we have some vent holes for better cooling. At the back there is the power in port, two HDMI 2.0 ports with 4K 60fps output, two USB 2.0 ports and a gigabit LAN. Now let's take off the bottom panel and take a look at the GX55's internals. The bottom plate also serves as a mount for the 2.5 inch hard drive expandable storage. Currently we have one 8GB stick of DDR4 RAM, but you could expand to 16 gigs of RAM. That's the SSD, which also has a thermal pad, and below it I think we have our wireless card, which is Wi-Fi 6 capable. So guys, let's hook up the mini PC and test its overall performance in simple day-to-day -day tasks and some gaming as well. As I mentioned earlier, the GX55 comes with Windows 11 Pro pre-installed. I've been using this mini PC for a couple of days and it handles the new Windows 11 pretty well. I didn't notice any hiccups or performance drops whatsoever. And now to a couple of benchmarks, in Geekbench we got a single core performance score of 649 and a multi-core score of 1949. Again, this Celeron N5105 is not a powerhouse, but here we sacrifice performance for affordability and power efficiency. In 3D Mark Time Spy, we get a score of 333. In terms of CPU temperature and cooling, we see that during the benchmark it reached a maximum of around 87 degrees and kept around 60 degrees for most of the time. The CPU managed to reach its boost clock speed of 2.9 GHz without a problem, as you can see from the graph. And let's switch to 4K video playback test. Now most of the older gen power efficient processors really struggle with 4K video playback, but as you're about to see, the Celeron N5105 handles the video playback rather well. Thank you. 
Now, in general, day-to-day -day performance, web browsing, media playback, this mini PC performs and handles most of the tasks without a problem. The web browsing, switching and opening multiple tabs, working with documents, all those scenarios are not a problem for the GX55 mini PC. Now guys, let's test the mini PC's performance with some of the more popular video games. Again, this is a power-efficient mini PC and you wouldn't normally buy to play the latest AAA titles, but for the sake of testing, I think many of you will be interested to see this mini PC's performance with some video games. First is GTA V, a very graphically demanding title that still is a benchmark for a PC's performance. The initial intro sequence is pretty challenging and we are getting around 20 to 30 FPS. Everything is set to low and the resolution is at 720p. Hey, remember we gotta be careful with these rides, homie. Send me on that box got my pay again. Homie, man, if you need some bread, I can hook you up with JB's tow truck. It ain't got glamour, but it's some money to be made. So him and Tanya can smoke crack in peace? Homie, I'm good. We're getting a similar performance in Fortnite, one of the most popular battle royale games. Next, we have Minecraft, which is a very CPU-heavy game, but as you can see, the GX55 handles it pretty well. So guys, as a conclusion, the LOK Boy GX55 is a great choice if you're looking for an affordable, compact and quiet mini PC. It supports two 4K monitors, you can expand the storage, it has dual-channel RAM support, it runs pretty cool and last but not least, it comes with Windows 11 Pro. The weak sides, well, at that price point, you shouldn't expect a mind-blowing performance in games and heavier applications like video editing, rendering and so on. So, if you like the product, you can check out LLK Boss online store, links can be found in the video description. Thank you all for watching and see you guys in the next video.